All right, guys, this is F1 2017. We're in Melbourne, Australia, here with Emmanuel Starr in fifth place. Release. Now I'm looking at the gearbox. Two, three, four, five. Now I'm looking ahead of me, making sure I don't crash into anything. Oh, Jeff's talking to me on the radio. I really want him to shut up right now. He's telling me to repeat the message. The message is shut up, Jeff. I'm doing something. All right, five, six. If I can just hold my ground here, I'll be very happy, guys. I'm not a professional at this game. I am coming from casual land. But I wanted to prove that a casual can actually play F1 2017. It's intimidating at first, but it's not too hard to learn until it starts raining on you. And then you have to like go into expert mode immediately. So we're going down to third gear. I am just going to slowly make my way around until I get into momentum. I was able to get into a rhythm with this earlier. In the dry, it's no pro- oh, come on, not yet, not yet. I'm going to be extra aggressive with these guys and just keep them behind me as much as I can the whole race because I am not an expert at wet races. Oh, I wish it were a dry wet race so I could talk more and like explain all the great things about 20 F1 2017, but this requires like a much higher level of concentration than I was doing in um, practice and qualifying. Like I said, I qualified at fifth for a Renault that was exceeding my expectations by six places. And if you want to know the difficulty, I'm at 80, 80% 80 and they consider that expert. So five, four, three, two. It's like I'm trying to count in my head while I'm trying to give commentary to make this as interesting as possible for you guys. And it is incredibly difficult. It's three, four. Now, if you never played an F1 game before, get ready for manual gears, guys. I don't know how many racers out there play an automatic. And I guess you do if you're just like a casual racing fan. But for um, F1 2017, you really want to learn the manual gears. It's a lot easier with the sound. Like you're gonna hear the sound, but I have my sound turned down because I'm trying to make the audio for you as good as possible, which also includes not having on the air conditioner. But I think I can, um, I think I'll be able to handle, what is it, 15 laps? Three, four. Occasionally you'll hear me counting because I get a little bit uh, sidetracked from where I'm at and I have to look down at the gears and make sure I'm like in a reasonable spot. Whew. Now they want me to do the whole race on intermediates. It's supposed to rain the whole race too, which I'm a little disappointed about because my car was in park for May, so I had a dry race strategy. Maybe that's why I did so well in qualifying. Because in all fairness, I did see in the bottom left-hand corner that there was variable weather conditions. I don't know exactly where the um, more detailed weather forecast is, but I kind of got caught out here in the rain, so I'm not gonna be doing anything too stellar here. I mean, whose battles all the way up ahead, all I can do is hope that no one passes me. I should, I should have picked Yarno Truly and I could have done a Truly train, but I promise it won't be for all the races if I decide to do more of these because um, in the dry, I'm fine. It's like, I can, I pass a little, I get past, I hit the pits, you know? But here, I'm just like hanging on for dear life. I really am, guys. I'm hanging on for dear life. I didn't expect to even be in second at this point, but I know I'm holding everyone up right now. One, two, three, four. Wait, what fuel am I in? I have to check my fuel. I'm in standard, okay. I can probably just go down to lean and call it and just like completely screw everyone up. <laughs> There's also a penalty for like hanging and lean too long, apparently. So I don't want to uh, lean on the lean too much. I forget what engine component, guys. There's like engine components in here. Uh, turbo components, whatever you want to call them, and each of them degrade according to like how poorly you're driving, like if you're revving too much, or you're driving in a high fuel mix too often, or you're getting passed by Kimi Raikkonen. Okay, this is Jeff. I need you to stop the Jeff's telling me to stop cutting the corners. I don't like his attitude. So Jeff's gonna have to shut up while I switch back to um, standard. Ugh. And I switched to standard on the straight. Oh man, that's just so much work. <laughs> I wish I had the voice command set up for Jeff, but I don't want, I'll, I'll do that next race, we'll see. 
Guys, there's a lot of technical nonsense that goes on to setting up these videos. Okay, eight, five, four, three, two. So what else? Oh man, I was just about to... Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad, guys. I'm sorry. Oh. So like I said, my, my car is actually set up for straight line speed. No, um, like very little downforce. So I'm not in an ideal setup either. After I did qualifying, I qualified fifth. I was like, woohoo, this is gonna be a great, this is gonna be an easy race. But then I realized it was raining, so, and I couldn't change my car. So I went into the, the time trials and did some wet runs with um, Mercedes and a few other cars, using that setup just to get used to it a little bit. I put in about an hour and I was down doing times. I was hoping that the, the forecast would uh, change and like give me some dry runs so that at the end I can, uh, you know, make up some spots. But what's it called? Uh, seven, six, five, four. Yeah, the schedule says um, rain the whole race. Okay, so maybe the schedule is wrong. Jeff's telling me that it might get dry soon, so. At the very least, you'll get to watch me drive with some level of competency, because I'm basically just holding up the guys right now. I know, Kimmy's, Kimmy's on the radio now, hollering one, two, three, down to fifth. Oh, I'm, a little, I'm in a little bit of a, a groove here with the line, though. I can see it come in. Um, if, you're, if you play 2016 and you want to know the difference, uh, it's faster through the corners. Like, you got more grip. You're not, you're not constantly, like, um, spinning out of the corners. You, you got more grip on there, so you can, you can really chuck it through the corners better. And the lap times are, like, three or four seconds uh, faster, so... The first thing I did when I got the game is I jumped into time trials and I tried to put my fastest lap on Melbourne to see where I stand and um, it was about three and a half seconds quicker and it was easier to get into the groove because I did play 2016 for like a half hour last week and I wasn't able to jump back into it as quickly as I jumped into this. Maybe because I'm more excited about it or maybe because it's just like that much easier to jump into. Is it raining less? I can't really tell. I think it's raining more. I think Jeff's lying to me. All right. <sighs> so yeah, what else is new in F1 2016? There's the, um, the R&D tree. I'm sure you guys heard of that. That looks pretty cool. I went for the uh, chassis because uh, that's what got recommended. And I did some like um, Q quality control on it to make sure that it's more reliable. Really with the Renault, I would want to start probably at the engine, but the engine is not necessarily bad. It's just, you know, you want to make up that deficit to Ferrari and Mercedes as quickly as you can, but they say the, the car, so whatever, I went with them. One, two, three, four. As for F1 guys, I'm a casual fan, I guess I call it. I've been to one F1 race in my life at Shanghai, and it was awesome. But it was uh, 2016, so I never got to hear the, um, the V10s or the V8s. Classic cars, classic cars make a comeback in um, F1 2017. They were pretty fun to drive. Especially in the cockpit. I like to jump into the cockpit view. I was considering one, two, three, four, what view to do uh, for these videos. And I was driving with the nose cam for a while because the nose cam's really fun. But, you know, it's raining, so I'm going to have to do the TV pod this time. But I'm, I'm, I'll probably change it up depending on what people like. I think the nose cam is the most ex exciting. There's the offside cockpit, which is kind of neat. Um, and a few others. I don't actually like the inside the cockpit too much. I just don't. I'm sure it's the most realistic, but um, the wheel is just, so, the steering wheel is just so busy to look at. <laughs> it kind of distracts from all the cool stuff to look around. You get to see the horizon, obviously, easier with the TV pod, so it's easier. 
This is the, the easiest um, camera angle to work in. They should have a dynamic camera where it's like uh, outside the car, kind of like on the replays. One, two, three. I know it'd be impossible to drive, but Grand Theft Auto has it and it's kind of fun to drive in um, cinematic mode if you've ever played that. Try driving in cinematic mode. One, two, three, four. Oh man, I'm a little wide, I'm a little wide. Come on, all right, let him go, let him go. Wait a minute, don't let him go. He's, he's slowing me down now. Come on, Kimmy, get out of my way. Whoa, all right, okay, okay. He gave it back to me for some reason, I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe he got resigned. I'm, I'm happy for him. I'm happy that Kimmy got resigned. But I guess they're kind of simulating how his um, early season really was, because, dude, you just got passed by Renault. <laughs> All right. I'm still hitting the DRS, even though I can't use it because it's raining. Two, three. I don't see it drying up anytime soon. I don't see it drying up. Did an engine break into that corner for some reason? Uh, what am I in? Oh, I'm halfway, okay. I wasn't even looking at the lap times at this point. I'm sort of just like mellowing into it. Guys, this is a really visceral game. It takes a while to get into, not gonna lie about it, but get time, get into manual with this game. If you've never played manual, three, uh, three you want to, you want to teach yourself how to do it. Now there's a um, manual suggested where it has the number that comes up there that says what um, gear you should be in. And it does change based on weather conditions. And that's awesome. That's, that's another subtle improvement that's been made. It's like you can rely on the uh, suggested um, gears in case you're just learning the course. One, two, three, four. And before that you had to like learn it yourself. Ah. Oh. Three second time penalty, multiple warnings. Come on, dude, no, that's not cool. That's not, that's not realistic. Going off the track, like on an end like that. It's not like I cut the corner. And you can't even say that it was because I hit somebody. No, they said it was because it was off the course. So it's not because I took out Reckoning. Three, four. Oh, man, total buzzkill. <laughs> that's all right, one, two, three, four. I was like uh, a little late on that corner. See, I'm not even thinking about it, man. The penalties, they're like a, they're like a mental distraction too. <sighs> All right, at least it wasn't too harsh because like, yeah, the penalties before, Nico Holkenberg is, ah, come on, man, hold your weight. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna talk so much about like the drivers. It's gonna be so bad. I didn't know who to who to choose at first. I was torn between doing Force India and um, one, two, three, uh, Force India and Renault. And I wanted to do Force India because like they had a really competitive season, guys. They're like straight up fourth. They probably could be higher up if they didn't have that collision. One, two, four, three. Okay, but yeah, they're a real proper team. I'm happy for them. Well, I wanted a little bit of more of a challenge, so I went for Renault, and I replaced their um, other driver. Went down, let's see. So what's going on with the tires, guys? Am I really gonna make it to the end of the, the race? I mean, Jeff's not telling me otherwise. Do, 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 do. If you're still with us, why don't you give me a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already, guys, because I'll probably do, oh, uh, come on, three, four. I want to do a few more of these, guys. I don't know if I'm going to do the whole season. I have to see how much feedback I get, but I really like racing games, and I really like the F1 series in general, so. I did a review on it last year. I wanted to do more Let's Plays, but I didn't have, like, the technical setup yet. And now that I do, I really want to be able to do more of these, because they look great and they're fun to play, and they're really immersive. All right, down to four, five, nine out of 15. 
And you get like weird time dilations with this game. Four. Uh, because these laps, these last two laps have felt like a long time for me. But the first seven laps kind of went by pretty fast. Just like Vettel, how far up the road is he? I don't even want to see my uh, times. It's embarrassing. He's probably like a minute ahead or something. And I'm just holding up his teammate. What happened to Hulkenberg? Did he go into the wall or did he have an engine failure? Oh, speaking of guys, like the, um, the parts on this degrade real fast. They, they, I used 25% of one of my components already. And it hasn't even been the race, the first race. So I anticipate that I'm gonna have to replace them. You get four of each part for 20 races, down to two. So the idea, I guess, is to use them for five races each, not gonna happen. Nope, not even close. I know I'm gonna have to take at least one. I'll probably have to take two for each part. And I'm not completely sure on the, um, how the penalties work. Hold on one second. No, don't talk to me, Jeff. I'm not completely sure how they work because what I plan to do is like replace them all at, at one race. So I get like a, like a 40 place grid penalty and I only have to serve it that one time. So if that's the strategy, then just confirm that for me in the comment section because I'm going to have to do that at some point. I think that's what people do. Like, isn't that what uh, Alonzo did in, in uh, Hungary? Like the race before Hungary so that he can get rid of all of his penalties. Do do. Do do do, 40 seconds. Interference, what does that mean? Dude, where's the microphone? I don't even have my mic set up for this, I don't think. Is there like a hidden mic in the controller or something? He's trying to listen to what I'm saying. The, um, the engineer commands do look really cool, guys. I haven't explored them yet, but they do look pretty cool. Like I haven't even explored that menu of like changing the brake bias and the differential on the fly. I'm not quite there yet, guys. I'm not a pro at this. I don't play it all the time. I play it every year when it comes out because it's just so much fun. But I wish I had more time on my hands to like... <sighs> Man. Jeff... I'm gonna have to change Jeff's verbo verbosity, I think. I'm gonna have to kick it down a level. He is pretty interesting, but, I, but since I'm trying to give a commentary over this while I do it, it's like kind of rude. He's like interrupting me. Oh, man. See? You happy, Jeff? You happy? Dude. Got it back. Five laps of fuel? That's good. That's what we want. Thank you. Yeah, I've been in standard pretty much the whole time. So... They're static on the radio, okay, all right. So there is a microphone somewhere, I just have to find it. Maybe my VR headset is plugged in and it's taking the microphone from there. That was kind of freaky the first time I used that. But I definitely am gonna try the voice commands at one point to see if they work. You can go in through there with the button presses and I don't feel like demonstrating that right now, but I will, I promise I will. Once I do a dry race, hopefully the next race is dry. Eight, five, two, two. I'm sorry there's not a lot of passing because I never, when, when I got this far, when I... Dude, my tires are fine. You're blowing smoke, two, two, two. Oh crap. Come on, dude. Like, everything you say is a buzzkill. Come on. Like, seriously. Like, every time you say, oh, you're gonna screw up, I screw up. It really does happen like that, guys. I hate Jeff. I'm turning, I'm turning him off, man. <laughs> dude, the people at Codemasters are gonna be like, oh, isn't that a bit harsh? Oh, he's being a bit harsh there. Shut up, Jeff. Shut up. Dude, this is bad. Now I'm just trying to stay with fourth, I guess, because, um, 
You know, I was doing well until Jeff told me how bad my tires were, and then I kind of noticed it a little bit, and then I went off the edge. You know, that happens. When someone says, oh, you're doing bad, you're doing a bad job, it really makes me notice. It really helps my driving, too. Thanks a lot, Jeff. It really gives me confidence. What else is bad? Is my, sus is my suspension bad? One, two, come on. Oh. Can I like take some R&D out of Jeff and like so he gets fired and we save some money? We don't have to have him on the radio. One, two, three. Yeah, you should get some research and development points for kicking him out of the team. All right. Man, that was a podium. Jeff threw away a podium for the team. You know, sometimes one person does lose it for the team. It's not the driver in this case. In this case, it's the, uh, the team engineer. One, two, three, four. Have you ever, ah, oh, three, come on. Have you ever seen that on a, a race, a post race where the driver blames his, uh, his radio guy because he, he went off somewhere? That's gotta be, that's gotta be like one of the biggest pains though. Imagine if like when somebody actually did go off, like they were in the middle of a fast corner and someone gets on the radio, all oh, your tires. God. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. All right, down to three. Come on, one, two, three, four. I don't know, I can kind of catch up again. I'm not completely falling away from them now. I probably destroyed their tires by keeping them behind me the whole time. I don't know if that's true. I don't know how the dirty air works in rain. I'm sure it's still dirty. It's probably just dirty water. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, come on. Hmm. So how far are you guys in the career? I actually wanted to do this last night, but I had some technical issues, so I had to wait off playing until today. Do, 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 do. Six, seven. One, two, three, down to five. Uh, it's just like relaxing now. I'm, at, I'm, in, a, I'm in a zone. Yeah, and you told me earlier, one, two, three, four, that there was not going to be any rain. It might change. So, quit your lying. One, two, three, down to two. Do, 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 do. Three, four, five, six, I'm off. I was I couldn't count my numbers right, <laughs> but I, I got the right gears. I just said them out loud wrong. So, ah, and I'm sweating just enough so that it feels like it's raining on me. So it's kind of cool. Guys, I learned that I can only wear like a limited amount of shirts while doing this. I wanted to wear my Mercedes shirt because I have one, but um. One, I'm not driving for Mercedes. Two, um, there's green on it. So I wouldn't be able to use the green screen as effectively. So. Oh man. I have an itch on my nose, but I don't want to pause it. Six, seven, one, two, three, four. You just gotta fight it out. I wonder what happens in, uh, I wonder what happens in real life. Shut up, Jeff. I wonder what happens in real life like when the drivers have an itch on their nose. One, two, three. I don't know, maybe athletes don't get itches. I heard that like athletes don't get hiccups. I don't know if that's true. Start a dialogue in the comment section. Eight, down to four. Man, this corner doesn't like me. And, oh, another cool thing about this, the, the latest, um, the practice sessions, they give you more data to work with. You can see like where you're screwing up and you can analyze it better. It's really cool. There's like different track maps with like where you're losing fuel, where your tires are degrading the most, and it highlights it. Uh, three, four, come on, five, six. 
it highlights like all the different parts. Eight down to two, three, four. But like it highlights all the different parts of the track map. And um, of course there's the uh, acclimation thing from last year, which is fine. You just do it on the lowest fuel and the hardest tire for one lap to get yourself acclimated to the track. It's actually really helpful. Like it's helpful for somebody who doesn't play these games. It's like, yeah, go into practice, do the things in order like they tell you to, and like you should be good. Now one disagreement I have is with their difficulty level for Australia. They say it's very easy, guys. Australia is not very easy. This is, if you were to line up all the tracks on a bell curve from easiest to hardest, this would be on the uh, upper half of the bell curve, no doubt. I'd go as far as saying it's one of the harder tracks, too. There's a lot of corners. There's um, a lot of uh, breaking points where you don't have a, a wide window. And it's, it takes a while to learn compared to something like Monza. So if you're looking for the easiest track on the, on the game, because you haven't played before, go to Italy, go to Monza, okay? They did that like a couple years ago. They had like a season challenge, which was their own like season they created. And I think four, that, that was good because it allowed you to play Monza first because this is one of the hardest tracks, to, one of the longer tracks to learn. Like Bahrain and China, I think, are easier than this, guys. What do you think? Melbourne requires a lot of patience, and you can't really overtake here. I mean, they overtook me, of course, because Jeff was talking, and I could have gotten a podium if um, Jeff would just shut up. But it's okay, you know. He's just doing his job, I understand. And that's fourth place. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. That'll be a sixth place finish for me. Let's see the results for the uh, other guys. Yes. That's cool, they have the team principals in there. I wonder if all the other guys are simulated too, like all the, uh, the other engineers and workers. So Sebastian won, there's Hamilton, and I guess Kimi. Kimi was in second. But I was uh, best of the rest and even better than some Mercedes and the uh, Red Bull guys. So I'd say Renault's off to a good start. Why are they showing Sergio Perez? Is he going to be my rival now? Okay. That's fine. Anywhere in the world, the prancing cool. horse flags are dominant in the grandstand. And after this round of the World Championship... Oh, down to six, because the, the three-second penalty. Takes over the oh, man, the so I'm in sixth. After that excellent result. I forgot about that penalty, guys. Two